Hello, welcome to part 2 of CLM Tenant Admin Responsibilities. In today's session, we will see what are the various CLM management things that a tenant admin can perform. As a tenant admin, user can perform or manage his tenants, user can manage other users in the tenant that is end users and other tenant admins. He can manage network container. A tenant admin can manage load balancer and firewall rules. A tenant admin can view services belonging to the tenant and also manage pass resources belonging to tenant. A tenant admin is someone who is managing a subset of cloud. He is responsible for all operations that can be performed by a tenant users, end users of a tenant. Now we will take you through a live demo of these operations that can be performed in CLM UI. I have logged into Cloud Lifecycle Management using a tenant admin. As you can see on the screen, a tenant admin is able to view service offering instances belonging to all the users in the tenant. A tenant admin will be able to perform all the operations such as start, stop, shutdown, refresh, share, transfer and data operations on these service offering instances. All the buttons in the panel above services are enabled for tenant admin. A tenant admin will not only be able to view offerings that are available for the tenant but also request them if proper entertainment packages been assigned. A tenant admin can go through administration screen where he can add new end users or new tenant admins. A tenant admin will be able to see all the users that belong to this tenant. The tenant admin will also be able to see various user quota that has been assigned to the user. If any quota has been used, available maximum quota, utilization, etc. For example, currently we have selected an end user and we can see the quota that has been used by the user. Tenant admin can reassign the quota here. As a tenant admin, one can go and perform add user. As we can see on the screen, a add new user dialog box is open. Tenant admin can give details about new user that needs to be added. If we do a drop down of roles, we would see that a tenant admin is eligible only to add cloud end user or another org admin. A tenant admin cannot create a cloud admin. A tenant admin is not allowed to edit or delete a cloud admin. The selected user is having a role as cloud admin. If we try to click on delete user, a warning or a pop-up is generated saying selected user is cloud admin. If we try to do a edit, a pop-up box appears that says you do not have access to edit this user. The user is a cloud admin. We will next see different networking capabilities that are assigned to a tenant admin. We have network button which can be clicked which will take us to network container screen. On this page we can see network container that has been assigned this tenant. This network container we can perform operations like managing load balancer, managing virtual firewalls and managing network paths. Let us see them one by one. If I click on manage load balancer, a menu will appear on where we can manage various load balancer that are allocated to this network container. We can select the load balancer. We can create a load balancer pool. On this pop-up we have filled all the required fields here. As you can see, we have named the load balancer pool, added description, 
added protocol and other fields one can see that the load balancer pool is created and then we can go ahead and add various load balancer pool entries we'll be able to see all the servers that exist on this tenant as we can see all the servers are listed here one can just add click next and perform various or update various fields that are required in the same fashion one can add network paths and firewall tools to the network container we can see that load balancer pool entry has been successfully added here in same fashion tenant admin can decide to add firewall rules or network path to the network container next we see how network path and load balancer pool can be configured on the services by tenant admin on the server screen we can see load balancer pool button where we can manage load balancers and network path screen to manage network paths and firewalls a tenant admin can configure all these rules on his own on the services as well with this we come to end of this session for your reference we have given links which contain documentation about various tenant admin console usage